Hello everyone. Welcome to Shanta Lakshmi IS. In this video, let us discuss about this scheme that is Mission Shakti, which was in news recently. So why this Mission Shakti has been in news? Because recently the Ministry of Women and Child Development has issued guidelines for the Mission Shakti scheme. And the norms of this Mission Shakti will be applicable with effect from the 1st April 2022. Before we go into the discussion of this Mission Shakti scheme, here let us understand the context of this introduction of this Mission Shakti. And this Mission Shakti is an umbrella scheme which integrates various schemes related to the safety, security and empowerment of women. So why so despite of these various schemes, why there is a need to have this Mission Shakti now? Because, however, despite various affirmative steps have been taken, the various parameters indicate that a lot still needs to be done for improving the status of women in society. And also, there were issues in implementation of the sub-schemes of the that is related to safety, security and improving the status of women and the full potential of the sub-schemes remain largely underutilized. So that's why there is a need to have a concerted effort in a mission mode to ensure gender equality and women empowerment. So which gave rise to this Mission Shakti scheme. So this is the context of this Mission Shakti as an umbrella scheme. Now, we'll discuss about this Mission Shakti. It is an integrated women empowerment program launched as an umbrella scheme for the safety, security and empowerment of women for implementation. And this Mission Shakti was launched during the 15th Finance Commission period that is from 2122 to 2526. Now, what is the vision and mission of this Mission Shakti? This Mission Shakti seeks to realize the government's commitment for women led development by addressing issues affecting women on a life cycle continuum basis and make them equal partners in nation building through convergence and citizen ownership. Also, seeks to focus on proposing strategies for improving convergence among the ministries, departments and other organizations. It also seeks to promote greater participation and support of panchayats and other local level governance bodies. So, this is the vision and mission of this Mission Shakti. What's the mission? Realize the government's commitment for women-led development by making them equal partners in the nation building. Also seeks to focus proposing strategies for convergence among the various ministries and departments. Also it promotes the greater participation and support of panchayats and local level government bodies. That is decentralization, decentralized approach. Moving forward, and what are the objectives of this Mission Shakti? It seeks to provide immediate and comprehensive continuum of care, support and assistance to women affected by violence and for those in distress also. Also, it seeks to put place quality mechanism for rescue, protection and rehabilitation of women in need of assistance and victims of crime and violence. Also, to improve the accessibility to various government services available for women at the various levels. It also aims to create the awareness generation about the government schemes and programs as well as legal provisions to fight social evils like dowry, domestic violence, sexual harassment, workplace, etc. It also aims to ensure capacity building and training of functionaries, duty bearers and the various schemes and legislations. Also, it collaborates with various partners, departments, states, duties for convergence of policies, programs and schemes. Also, it aims to create an enabling environment for 
public private partnership for safety and empowerment of women across all the sectors it aims to create awareness among masses for inducing positive behavioral change towards women and girls it also aims to prevent the gender based sex selective elimination which ensures survival protection education and development of the girl child so what are the objectives to provide immediate care care and support for the women affected by violence and distress to have quality mechanisms for rescue protection and rehabilitation of women to improve the accessibility to various government services awareness creation regarding the government schemes and policies capacity building for functionaries collaboration with various ministries departments and also providing public private partnership for safety and empowerment of women also awareness creation for in using positive behavioral change towards women and girls and finally to prevent gender bias sex selective mechanism thereby enhancing the development and survival of the girl child so these are the objectives of this mission shakti scheme moving forward and this mission shakti has two components that is sambal and samarthya samarthya this sambal is for safety and security of women and this sambal component consists of schemes like one stop center women helpline beti bachao beti padhao and along with the new component that is nari adalat and regarding this one stop center this one stop center has come up in 2015 and these one stop centers are set up in each districts of the nation the aim is to provide integrated support and assistance for women affected by violence and distress in this one stop centers the needy women affected by violence along with their children in this children girls up to girls of all ages and boys up to 12 years can avail temporary shelter in this one stop center for a maximum of 5 days so this is the one stop center and regarding this women helpline this is a 24 hour telecom service telecom service to women seeking support and information by connecting with the emergency response support system for all emergency services like police fire ambulance services etc and the helpline numbers are 112 for emergency related conditions and 181 for non emergency related services and coming to this beti bachao beti padhao this scheme has come up in 2015 for promoting for promoting higher education and skill development among the girls and it also aim to improve the sex ratio along with increasing the percentage of institutional deliveries and it also aim to check the dropout among the girls at secondary and higher education levels and coming to this nari adalat it is an alternative redressal grievance mechanism for pro- for resolving petty issues like harassment domestic violence etc faced by women in family society etc at the grama panchayat levels so these nari adalats are at the grama panchayat levels so this sambal consists of the one stop center women helplines beti bachao beti padhao and nari adalats and the objective of this sambal is to improve accessibility and integrate all efforts and various government initiatives towards the safety and protection of women as well as for securing their rights and entitlements on a comprehensive continuum of care and support to women affected by violence and in distress and to assist them in reemerging as integrated partners in nation building so what is this sambal scheme is about it is for safety and security of women it includes the sub schemes like one stop center women helpline beti bachao beti padhao along with new added component of nari adalat and the objective is to 
accessibility and integrate all efforts towards the safety and protection of women and making them to assist them in the nation building program so this is about the sambal component and coming to the next component that is samatya this is for empowerment of women it consists of estwell schemes like ujwala swadhagre and working women hostels also it consists of the existing icds schemes that is integrated child development schemes like national crash scheme and pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana which focuses on the economic empowerment of women so this ujwala and swadhar were integrated into shakti sadan scheme and this shakti sadan aims to provide integrated relief fund rehabilitation res rescue house and this working women hostel provide shelter to the working women and regarding this national crash scheme it aims to provide the crash facilities at organizations for working women and regarding this pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana has come up in 2017 this is implemented as part of the national food security act 2013 it aims to provide financial support for pregnant and lactating mothers also it aims to improve the health and nutrition for mother and child and what's the objective of the samatya scheme is to improve accessibility to various government schemes through reinforcement and convergence for development and empowerment of women the scheme aims towards social cultural political and economic development and overall empowerment of women so what is the samatya scheme is about it is for empowerment of women it consists of schemes like ujwala and swadha working women hostel national crash scheme pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana the aim is to provide social cultural political economic development and empowerment of women and moving forward and what are the services and activities are involved in this mission shakti scheme there are three services and activities that is emergency and immediate services and short term care and institutional care for long term support also the behavior change communication for dignity and prevention of crime and violence against women coming to the first service that is emergency or immediate services and short term care in this they will put in place the mechanisms for providing a continuum of service and care for women affected by violence and women in distress through dedicated 24 hour helpline by a national toll free number and integrated services such as temporary shelter that is one stop center working women hostel or shakti sada and legal aid also provides psychosocial counseling medical assistance police facilitation and etc so this is all emergency and immediate services and short term care coming to the institutional care for long term support it includes taking care of the needs of women right from the conception till the conception state till the time they need such care and support it includes financial support through direct benefit transfer shelter food rescue and rehabilitation services counseling functional literacy vocational training for skill development entrepreneurship and linkages with various other support and referral voices services to destitute distressed marginalized and victims of violence and working women or those who do not have anyone to take care of so this institutional care for long term support provide for this counseling skill development and shelter etc and coming to this behavior change communication for dignity and prevention of crime and violence against women this would include awareness generation and community awareness programs and community engagement for gender sensitization advocacy training and capacity building of all duty bearers service providers and stakeholders through interministerial convergence 
in addition to this it will also aims to engage with men and boys who would be done to partner for countering gender stereotypes that will include intersectoral consultation media campaign training and capacity building sensitization programs innovation outreach and advocacy iec that is information education and communication material for awareness kit etc so what are the services emergency or immediate services and short term care in this they provide the 24 hour helpline and toll free number temporary shelter socio psychological counseling etc and the institutional care for long term support in this they provide the care for long term by counseling uh, skill development skill, skill development training entrepreneurship etc and this in this behavior change communication for dignity and prevention of crime and violence against women in this they aims to, they focus on the awareness generation and awareness generation on gender sensitization etc also they aims to include the men and boys to counter the gender stereotypes through media campaigns training and capacity building iec kit etc so with this we'll end this session here if you like please like and share thank you